Many of the passengers ran from the terminal and out onto the tarmac once they heard the gunshots. Witnesses describe it as a chaotic scene. People were doing what they could to shield themselves. NBC 4's Ted Hart is continuing our team coverage tonight, live from John Glenn International Airport right now. And Ted, you spoke with a local professor who was at the airport in Fort Lauderdale when those shots rang out. Ted? That's right. There was a Southwest uh, flight from Fort Lauderdale to uh, Columbus uh, scheduled this afternoon, and Ohio Wesleyan journalism professor Paul Costew was among those scheduled to be on that flight and was there at the Fort Lauderdale airport uh, waiting for that flight. Now, Costew is a longtime uh, journalist, newspaper reporter here in Ohio, and was returning from a trip to uh, Cuba. I talked to him this afternoon about what he saw and heard at the airport. Now, he explained that he was in Terminal 1 when the shooting occurred in. Terminal 2, and he says that he and others there were aware of it, but they were calm and felt safe where they were, especially after hearing that the gunman had apparently been captured. But then something triggered panic in his terminal as well. People were diving under uh, seats, hiding behind um, desks, I mean, checking desks. Um, people were cowered together. Uh, some took off outdoors, some took off down the ramp. The ramp to our jet, uh, and uh, we're in the jet. Um, I was trying to take pictures. And Paul Costio says that he heard what sounded like gunshots right before uh, that panic began in the terminal. But the sheriff there has said that there were no gunshots uh, fired in Terminal One, and it remains clear as to what it was exactly that triggered that panic, except for perhaps the fact that everyone there was already on edge to begin with. Live at John Glenn Airport, Ted Hart, NBC4. Ted, 